Greetings, and welcome. Um, this one isn't going to be a rant. I know I promised you a rant every day, uh, those of you who actually bother to read the bulletins, but uh, I just haven't felt in much of a ranting mood lately, so I just haven't done one. Sorry. There's plenty more coming, though. Don't worry. I've got lots more stuff uh, planned to talk about. Um, I'm actually going to expand the rants to some extent. And rather than just talk about uh, high definition and such, I'm going to talk about more of sort of a, a spectrum of, of things in the home entertainment world. So I'm going to talk about DVDs, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, video games, and uh, just the home entertainment world in general and such, and just sort of impart my knowledge to you and things that I learn about and want to discuss. So yeah, hope you all enjoy that. <sighs> but this time around, I just wanted to do sort of a straightforward blog, just kind of, you know, give you the update on on my life and what's been going on and stuff like that. Um, nothing hugely new to report. It's pretty much been life as usual the past little while. Um, I'd actually like to take this opportunity to say a hello to Decadent7, who has at long last returned to YouTube, and I hope that uh, she won't be mysteriously vanishing again anytime soon, if ever. <laughs> so, welcome back, D7. It's good to see you back in action and uh, alive and well and uh, and hopefully happy. So, um, a bit of news. I actually started doing a regular blog, just like a normal, old-fashioned, text-based blog. Um, and you can check it out at this link right here. I'm going to put the link there. And, yeah, so... You'll see it there now, hopefully. So yeah, it's uh, I think it's zaranizerac.blogspot.com. It's basically, I just did it through Blogger, which um, is just really easy to use and really simple, and I like that. Um, so I just used one of their basic templates and, and put it together. Did a bit of customizing so that it's resizable properly. I didn't like the, the fixed width that the template had originally, so I did some modifications there just to, to spruce it up a little bit. But it's, you know, visually it's pretty basic. You'll see some of my Amazon uh, listings on there. Um, actually, one thing that's uh, <clears throat> of interest that I actually did make sort of, um, I think anyway, kind of cool use of uh, Amazon is um, they have a function called media, like your media library or my media library. So what I did was I actually went through all of Amazon and ticked off every single DVD that I own. The idea being, I wanted to have a definitive, be-all, end-all, definitive list of every single DVD that I have in my collection. And I'm happy to say, I finished it. Yes. So if you go to the blog and click on, uh, you'll see a sidebar that says my uh, Zarin Isaac's entire DVD collection. If you scroll down to the bottom of that, there's a link that'll take you to the entire list. And then you can look at it with thumbnails, or you can look at it as just a, a list of, of titles, and then there's links to the product pages and stuff so you can actually get descriptions and, and whatnot. And, um, but yeah, so anyway, it was actually really handy because it didn't, it barely took any time at all and you can sort it any way you want. So I usually just sort it alphabetically because it's easier to keep track of. One thing that kind of ticked me off about the alphabetical sorting though, is any DVD that had the at the beginning of the title, it put into the T section. <laughs> Normally it's, you know, say it's the, the cool-ass movie. It's cool-ass movie, comma, the. But, no, they put the at the beginning of everything. So that's, so needless to say, the the section is quite huge. Um, but that minor quibble aside, it's nice to just have a, a definitive listing of, uh, of my entire collection. So how many do I have? I hear you all wondering. Well, actually, not as many individual titles as I thought I did. I thought I actually had close to a thousand, but um, <laughs> apparently my my visual estimation skills are not what I thought they were. I actually have 562. That's right, 562. And that includes several new items that I got today. Want to see? Of course you do. Okay, so first I was in a bit of a cheesy comedy mood, so I picked up not another teen movie! I actually used to own this exact edition a while back, but then sold it because the director's cut came out. So I got the director's cut, but then I was very disappointed to discover that 
Okay, there's two commentaries on here, one by the director and then one by the cast. And they are awesome commentaries. They're funny as hell and I'd say almost as entertaining as the movie itself. So I had to track this down again. So today, found it in Walmart in the two for ten dollar bin. How cool is that? So there you go. Not another teen movie. Awesome movie. If you like, um, actually even if you don't like teen comedies, this movie's great because it just rips teen comedies a new one. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, it's an R-rated comedy as well, which means they could do slightly raunchier jokes, and some of them are quite raunchy. But that just makes it better in my book. And then, of course, one I've been wanting for a long, long time, the Ace Ventura set. That's right. This is the uh, complete collection of Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, well, all two movies, and it has a bonus disc of episodes of the cartoon. How cool is that? So this was only ten bucks. Ten bucks! I got both movies, uh, one of which apparently is in widescreen for the very first time ever. It's never been available in widescreen before. I don't know if that was the first or second one, but anyway, they're both in widescreen, and you get a bunch of the episodes of the cartoon, which quite frankly wasn't very good, but, you know, it's kind of cool to have a few of them to represent the uh, cartoon anyway. Um, so that's it for the cheesy comedies, and then I got... Lady in the Water. Ooh, she's blinking at you. Creepy. So I have, uh, basically the main reason I got this was because I have all of M. Night Shyamalan's other movies, and I just wanted to get this one to kind of complete the set. Um, and it was only six dollars. So how can you go wrong there, eh? So six bucks. Also six bucks. I could not believe this was only six dollars. Dances with Wolves. The four-hour extended edition. I actually used to own this as well, and then got rid of it for food money or something back in the day. But uh, I now have it back in my collection and didn't bust the bank to get it there. Excellent movie. Um, it was winner of the Best Picture that year, I believe. Yeah, it won seven Academy Awards in 1990. That's, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's pretty impressive. Anyway, great movie, and I highly recommend the extended edition because it's got lots of really good stuff. Um, it's not just frivolous stuff. It's actually, you know, worthy editions that expand on you know, the characters and the story and stuff. And then, finally, I've been wanting this one for a long time, and I'm so happy that it finally came out on DVD. The 2002 series of He-Man and the... Uh, uh, He-Man and the Assholes of the Universe, yes. <laughs> He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Volume 1. This contains the first 13 episodes. Apparently they're going to do uh, they're going to do three volumes. There was 39 episodes total. So there's going to be uh, three sets of 13, and there's, like, buttloads of extras on there. You probably can't really see. Anyway, really cool. Um, I have to confess, I was never a huge fan of the original He-Man series. I do. We do have one of the DVD sets of it, and I do like it for sort of its '80s cheese, you know, half-hour toy commercial charm. But I always found it kind of lacking in the story department, and I always felt that the world of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe le would lend itself so easily to an epic fantasy adventure saga. Yet, I really felt that they missed that opportunity with the original series. Enter the new series. It's much more of a continuing saga now, and I have to say, we just finished watching the first episode, and it kicks ass. Seriously, like, it is an awesome show, and I highly recommend it. I should mention, uh, there's been talk of uh, there being a mastering error on disc one. <laughs> mastering, get it? <laughs> anyway. Mastering error on disc one, where apparently episode four doesn't play all the way through properly. It actually skips a section in the middle. I don't know if there's something wrong with the chapter coding or something. But there's um, BCI, the company that puts it out, and they put out all the other He-Man ones as well, um, is offering a free replacement program. So basically, if you have the set and your first disc is, is a little wonky, they'll replace it for you free of charge. And apparently they were so pissed off that that happened that they switched mastering houses for volume two going forward. They fired the people who mastered this set. They said, no, I'm sorry. We do not offer shoddy products to our customers. This is why I love BCI. Seriously, they do the most kick-ass cartoon sets amazing, uh, like, out there. Um, they did, like, the majority of the Filmation library, so you got stuff like Black Star, Flash Gordon, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, She-Ra, uh, Space Academy, Jason of Star Command, Arc 2, uh, Legend of Zorro and the Lone Ranger, and um, a whole bunch of stuff. There's even more that I can't even think of off the top of my head. Uh, Space Sentinels, The Adventures of Isis, huge, huge library, um, and they do really good, a really good job of them. I mean, not only do they 
look and sound fantastic, like far better than you would have ever seen them on TV originally. But um, they load them up with really genuinely interesting extras. Like they get as many of the original people together as they can to do interviews and commentaries and just tons of stuff. It's it's really great. They really set the bar high as far as uh, cartoon sets go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Oh, I also revamped my webpage a little bit. My webpage. Check it out. Um, I, it's still kind of a work in progress. I'm still in the process of revamping uh, all of it. I haven't quite figured out what all I'm going to do. I have some ideas, but uh, the, the sort of visual scheme that you see on the main page, um, the main index page, or the main like menu that you get on the, the front of it, um, is sort of the, uh, the, the, the thing I'm going for as far as the you know, I mean, it's nothing fancy, but it works. But that's that's the way I like it. It's just basically, I found the original layout to be a little boring. I mean, it was functional, but it was kind of boring. And I really wanted to spice it up a bit. So uh, it's still very functional, but I think a little little more organized than it was before. So I think, uh, I hope you all enjoy that. Anyway, how long have I been gabbing here? Oh my god, over 12 minutes. I can gab, can't I? Well, I'm going to cut this one off for now. So thanks for watching, and... Uh, I'll see you next time. So until then, I've got tons of DVDs to watch now, so uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. So stop by my blog, check it out, leave some comments, um, link to your blog, whatever. Uh, I'd love to get uh, get chatting with some other bloggers. And um, On my blog, I basically talk about uh, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about in, uh, in upcoming videos. Um, so, you know, DVD reviews and uh, news and information just that I find out in my travels. Not necessarily, I'm not going to make any claims that I'm getting any scoops here. I get my information from very public sources. <laughs> I just basically, you know, I see a piece of news that I'm excited about, I gab about it a little bit. So, enjoy that. And, um, <clears throat> uh, what else? Yeah, and then just other random stuff. Like, I mentioned my media library uh, DVD catalog on there and, uh, you know, I talk about uh, um, just other stuff, whatever springs to mind. Anyway, so that's my blog, and then check the website out, and uh, yada, yada, yada. So, okay, so I'm going to try to blog a little more regularly from now on, because um, I, I like to gab, and uh, it's better than talking to myself. All right, so thanks for watching. Tune in again next time. So until then, sayonara. I really got to work on the logistics of my sign-off, don't I? It kind of doesn't really flow properly, Yeah. Okay. Bye.